Are you looking for the best and most affordable jump starter on the market? Well, stick around because I think I have found the best one out there. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mason. I am a Ford technician. I work here at the Ford dealership and today we are back talking jump starters. Yes, I've made a couple of review videos in the past on some jump starters and today I'm actually bringing back one that I've already made a review video on, uh, but I want to re-emphasize how great these jump starters are. I use these on a daily basis and I also want to let you guys know that there is a huge Prime Day deal coming up on Prime Day. I think that is July 12th. Uh, Hulkman is going to be offering up to a 45% discount on all of their jump starters on Amazon. Go check that out. There'll be some links to, uh, posted up down in the description if you guys wanna go look at the prices. Uh, they're gonna have some huge, huge discounts for Prime Day, so make sure you check that out. So first things first, I wanna talk about why I think that every single person that drives a car should own a jump starter. It is the most handy thing you can keep in your car to save you from those times that you're going to have a dead battery. It happens to everybody at some point in time. Either your battery goes bad, um, you, you, uh, you leave your lights on, you leave your radio on, or maybe you just run across a friend, family, or maybe even a complete stranger that is broke down in the Walmart parking lot and they need to jump. It comes in so handy. Uh, every single person out there, whether you're a mechanic or just an everyday commuter, should be investing in one of these jump starters. You can keep it in your car. This Hulkman in particular stays charged for 18 months without having to be recharged. You can charge it up to 100%. Put it in the car, put it in your car, and you do not have to recharge it for 18 months. It is good to go. Every almost two years, just take it out and charge it for 30 minutes because they have a fast charging capabilities with these new jump boxes. They actually send you a uh, very, very fast charger you can plug them up to. But every single person out there should be investing in a jump starter. If you haven't already, uh, even if you have, I would recommend throwing that one in the trash and getting one of these Holtmans because it is the easiest to use that I found and one of the most affordable and best working so I highly highly recommend these jump boxes so the last video I made was actually on this alpha 8.5 I think I called it alpha 85 um, it's actually a decimal point right there it's alpha 8.5 um, this thing is super sleek it has a LCD touchscreen I made a review video up I'll throw that up somewhere up here if you want to go check that out on this jump box in particular uh, so today I'm not going to be talking as much about this one but I am going to make some points about it and um, just some of the capabilities of this jump starter. So just to start out with, and I'm pretty sure this is where they got the 8.5 from, uh, this thing is capable of jumping up to a 8.5 liter gas engine or a 6.0 liter diesel engine, which 8.5 liters covers almost every vehicle out there on the road on the gas side. And six liter uh, diesel will cover most of them, some of the newer ones are a little bit bigger, 6.77 up liters in the um, you know everyday regular pickup size truck diesel engines. But I will say um, it is a little bit past its capabilities, but sometimes when your battery's not completely dead in one of those higher liter diesel engines, this thing will get you out of a jam. So now the one that I really wanna talk about today, this is a new one that I just recently got. I've been testing it out and using it and I really, really love it. Uh, this is the Alpha 10. 10, 10, 100, whatever you call it. There's a decimal point there. It is a 10.0. It is capable of jumping up to a 10 liter gas or a 10 liter diesel. I don't know how it's capable of uh, doing both. You'd think the gas would always be a little bit higher because of different compression ratios of the two engines. Uh, but if you have a gas engine that is bigger than 10 liters, you're probably not gonna be driving it to Walmart and having to worry about a jump, uh, a jump a dead battery in the first place, um, you're probably gonna be at the drag strip with that thing because that is ginormous. But this thing is um, surprisingly really lightweight. It's not super heavy like some of the other big jump boxes you'll see, but it has a lot of capabilities in just this small package. This thing, like I said, 10 liter gas and diesel. That covers every single diesel I work on here at the dealerships and will cover 99% of all of your needs in the everyday usage of this thing. So one other cool uh, cool thing about these Hulkman jump boxes, and this has absolutely no effect 
on me because I live in um, South Alabama, almost in Florida, like I'm right here at the Florida line. So we have hot weather. It's usually like 80 degrees in December down here. So I don't have to worry about cold weather, but you folks up in the northern parts of the United States or Canada or wherever you are, if it gets really cold, this thing is capable of working in up to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not know what that is in centigrade or Celsius because um, you know America, we're we're not on that um, weird metric system or whatever. But uh, negative 40 degrees, that should cover pretty much anything. If you're trying to start your car on less than negative 40 degree Fahrenheit, you probably need to just go back inside and uh, you know just give it a rest, let it warm up. So, so one other huge point I wanted to make about Holtman jump boxes. This is something that you do not find, or I have not been able to find on almost any other jump box made. Um, you don't need an owner's manual for this thing. It's super simple to use. There's two buttons. Um, one turns it on. As you can see, the other one turns on the flashlight. Hold it down, turns it on. You got a bunch of different modes. You can turn it off. Okay, then if you hold both buttons at the same time, if you hook this, this has a, a sense that will sense when it's hooked up to a battery. So if you hook it up to a battery and it's not completely dead, when you hook it up, it's gonna sense that and automatically turn itself on. The reason it does that is so that you can't cross the two poles up and damage the jump box. Super cool feature. Most newer jump boxes are doing this. Um, if you happen to hook it up to a battery that is graveyard dead, it's deader than um, somebody that died in the 1800s, hold both buttons down until the green ready sign comes on. There you see it. You get ready, turn it off. You just hold the power button down again and it goes off. It's super easy to use, but um, for those of you that can't follow my simple instructions, it took me 30 seconds to explain every feature of this jump box to you. There's actually a uh, diagram on the back that tells you exactly how to use this thing. And it also tells you some of the um, troubleshooting things you need to know, like if it pops up a particular light, what is going on with the jump box. Like if it overheats, it'll pop up with a message basically telling you that it's overheated and it needs to cool down before you can use it again so it doesn't damage it i really really like that they did that on these because you don't need an owner's manual super simple two buttons really easy to use um, i mean pretty much a monkey could figure this thing out as far as prices go with this thing the uh, alpha 8.5 comes in at about 130 dollars on amazon um, you'll find that price ranges a little bit based with from the supplier that you buy it from the alpha 10 actually comes in at around 300 to 350 dollars on amazon i found uh, several different prices on there just depending on the supplier and also depending on if you got the fast charger with them uh, the prices are going to vary just a little bit but like I said earlier prime day is right around the corner it's coming up and they are offering some really 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 big discounts uh, up to 45% off on these jump starters so if you want one prime day is the day to get it I will have the links posted up down in the description so you can go check those deals out for yourself all right guys that is going to wrap us up for this video I hope that I I have sold you on the Hulkman jump boxes. I am a really, really big fan of these jump boxes. I've been using them for uh, going on over a year now. I've pretty much completely stopped using NOCO or any of the other brands that I have. I have several, several jump boxes and I always seem to be picking this one up. So I would highly recommend buying one. That's gonna wrap us up for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.